Ray Kachuk is all Ottawa Sanders fans right now as the Ottawa Sanders win back-to-back -back games in Alberta. They sweep through Alberta, taking down the Calgary Flames and the Edmonton Oilers. In today's video, we're going to recap both games as both were huge wins for your Ottawa Sanders as they have about 50 games to go in the next 100 days. It's going to be crazy because of COVID. They've had so many games delayed. They're going to have a lot of games now coming up, but hey, guess what? The good thing about that is they're on a roll right now. There's a lot of games to go, and hey, you know what? This team has came out of nowhere before to make the playoffs cough cough Andrew Hammond and the hamburger run and hey you know what maybe seven years later the Sanders can do it again we shall see the Sanders certainly have enough games to make a run here regardless back-to-back -back wins in Alberta it's not easy whatsoever so let's go baby but before we get into the game recaps a couple of things firstly uh Drake Batherson is gonna be the representative for the Ottawa Sanders at the all-star game in Vegas congratulations Drake uh he is a basically a point per game player uh, 30 points in 26 games played this season uh he clearly has the best contract in the National Hockey League. Well-deserved honor for Drake Batherson as he's headed to the All-Star Game in Vegas. On Thursday, Ottawa took on the Calgary Flames in the first game since the New Year's loss against the Toronto Maple Leafs. And this was a huge win for the Ottawa Sanders to kick off the Alberta road swing. Uh, firstly, Nick Paul scored a couple goals in this game. Beautiful pass on the second one from Connor Brown. Speaking of Connor Brown, he got a goal and an assist in that game. And Drake Batherson, after getting awarded with an all-star spot in Vegas, also tucked home a goal as the Sanders extinguished the Calgary Flames 4-1 in Calgary. And Matt Murray gets his first win since April 20. 2021 his first win on the season and he deserved that win making 27 stops and early on in that game Calgary was all over the Ottawa Sanders and thanks to Matt Murray he helped settle down the Ottawa Sanders and gave them a chance to win this game he made some big big 10 bell stops and because of that the Sanders did not give up a goal early and because of that they kept their momentum going as they started the push against the Calgary Flames so a great win there for Matt Murray his first on the season he's now 1-6 on the season and you know like in the game last night against Edmonton. Matt Murray looks really poised in the net, real strong, moving really well uh, throughout the crease and tracking the puck really well. But most importantly, no big rebounds. He's not giving up the big rebounds, which is doing wonders for the Ottawa Sanders defense so they don't have to scramble and try to bat the puck out of the front of the net. So great there for Matt Murray. Well positioned, good game for him. And you know, Connor Brown is a warrior. I got to mention this. He broke his jaw before the game after Tom Shabbat took a shot. The puck ricocheted off the uh, off the post, hit Connor Brown in the face during warm-ups. And DJ Smith, he sensed there was something wrong, but Connor Brown said he was good enough to play. He got a goal and assist in that game, but then it was later diagnosed that, yeah, he broke his jaw. He's going to be up for some time. So Connor Brown, absolute warrior, scored a goal, got an assist, two-point game with a broken jaw. Absolutely insane. Uh, unfortunately, though, he will be out for a while. Huge loss for the Otter Sanders. Um, so, you know, gives opportunity for a guy like Alex Formanton, for example, to push for a top six role uh, or more so continued top six role anyways. Um, as well, Scott Sabrin dislocated his finger in an absolute beatdown, unfortunately, to Milan Lucic. Um, shout out to Scott Sabrin, friend of the show, uh, you know, getting in the ring there with Lucic. But Lucic is an absolute animal, so, you know, that's just tough to beat. But, uh, you know, with Connor Brown, once again, it's a tough loss for Oliver Sanders. He's going to be out for some time. And now this gives, gives an opportunity for a guy, like I said, Alex Formanton, to potentially keep that top six role. A guy like Nick Paul can push up there. And then, like you'll see in the Edmonton part of this video, Ottawa actually switched up their lines. And you know what? It actually paid dividends for them. But besides that, speaking of all that, let's just get to the second game of this video as Ottawa took on Edmonton last night. So last night, Ottawa took on the Edmonton Oilers, and you know, Ottawa had some struggles against Edmonton last season. Because of the Canadian division, the Ottawa Sanders had to play Edmonton way more than usual, nine times to be exact, and uh, yeah, Ottawa lost all of those games against Edmonton. Yeah, that's right. All nine games lost to the Edmonton Oilers last season. So it's safe to say the Ottawa Sanders wanted to win last night in Edmonton because let me tell you it's been a while since they have however you know it looked good early on Josh Norris gets a power play goal for the Sanders one nothing lead and then Matt Murray continues to play fantastic 
Big 10 bell stops. I mean, we'll talk about them after the game recap as I go through the score. But Matt Murray was fantastic in that first period. I think the Edmonton Oilers probably could have scored four or five times. Unfortunately, though, they did score in the final minute. Zach Cassian alone in front. Unfortunate goal. Bad bounce for Ottawa Sanders. Uh, tough for Matt Murray, too. But the worst part about that is it's kind of a backbreaker goal. Giving up a goal in the final minute, especially when you were somehow leading one nothing but getting outplayed, it just sucks. It really zaps all the energy out of you going into the first intermission Um, and that's really what happened because we go to the second period of play Edmonton gets two goals in that period suddenly going to the third period Ottawa's down three to one looks to be no hope for the Ottawa Sanders. you know Matt Murray's kind of being held out to dry throughout this game you know uh, he's doing everything he literally can he's sprawling around diving flexing and he's stopping everything he can but guess what at the end of the day when you give him no chance to stop some of these pucks their pucks are going to go in the back of the net there's only so much he can do so in the third period of play like I said it looked there it looked to be no hope for the Ottawa Sanders. but that is when things changed because Senators head coach DJ Smith actually switched up the lines going into the third period of play the first line still had Kachuk and Josh Norris together however Tyler Ennis was promoted to the first line this means Drake Batherson was dropped to the second line to be with Tim Stutzla and Nick Paul the third line would have Gaudette with Alex Formanton and Chris Turney and you know what things actually worked out in favor of the Ottawa Sanders when they jumbled the lines. I was kind of surprised to see Batherson on the second line, but Batherson was Stutzla, kind of sick, and Kachuk and Norris, obviously elite, and then Ennis is the best to ever do it. So the top six is great. And then that third line, they are the ones that actually got things going for the Ottawa Sanders in that third period of play, because early on in the third period, uh, you know, a great pass from Alex Formanton finds Cadet. He backhands it, glove side, past Stuart Skinner, and he cuts the Oilers' lead to one. It's three to two. And then moments later, off a shot from Skinner, the rebound found by Alex Formanton. He jams it home, off the rebound, past Skinner. Tie game, three Three, the Sanders have tied it. And then a few minutes later, Zub, Artem Zub, gives the Ottawa Sanders the lead with a snipe. Glove side past Stuart Skinner to give the Ottawa Sanders a 4 three lead the Sanders suddenly lead for the first time since the first period of play what a comeback Zub baby we'll have a lot to say about Zub later he had a fantastic defensive game but a fantastic goal here for Artem Zub gives the Ottawa Sanders the lead unfortunately though literally um, two minutes later Darnell Nurse ties game at four for the Oilers a great shot past Murray blocker side but with about five minutes to go in the game Ottawa gets a power play uh Josh Norris's helmet breaks so he needs to go to the bench to get a new one as you can see on the screen here Austin Watson's helmet didn't fit Dylan Gambrell's helmet did fit though and guess what Gambrell's helmet is magic because Josh Norris gets a second power play goal of the game giving Ottawa the lead right back it's a 5-4 game for the Ottawa Sanders as Dylan Gambrell's helmet is magic for Josh Norris as he makes it 5 for Sanders. Moments later, in the last couple minutes, Zach Sanford gets a goal, a 200-foot empty net goal, as the Ottawa Sanders win it 6-4 to four over the Edmonton Oilers. They sweep Alberta and Biznasty. Guess what? It's not a lock. The Ottawa Sanders never bet against the Ottawa Sanders. You got sensed. Last night, Matt Murray was absolutely phenomenal once again. As I alluded to earlier in the video, in that first period of play, if it wasn't for Matt Murray, Edmonton probably would have blown this game wide open. Matt Murray last night had 27 stops, and he's starting to look like his old self, I won't lie. He looks like the Matt Murray that killed the Ottawa Sanders in the 2017 Stanley Cup playoffs. He's been fantastic the last couple of nights. And like that game against Calgary, he's tracking the puck well, moving back and forth throughout the crease with ease. No issues whatsoever. The movement's good. He's tracking the puck well, positioning himself pretty well to the puck scoring up at the puck except that nurse goal that was a bad goal on Matt Murray I won't lie but other than that pretty good uh, and more importantly once again no big rebounds he's gobbling up that puck which is really helping out the defenseman in front of him so another great game for Matt Murray if he can continue to play this well um, that 6.25 million dollar deal is going to look good and more importantly the centers can go on a run here and maybe even push for a playoff spot I know listen we're one of the worst teams in the National Hockey League right now standings wise but we have so many games to go and the vibes around this team are absolutely insane who knows what can happen I honestly don't remember Seeing an auto center team, let alone, you know, not even auto center. I don't remember seeing a National Hockey League team this tight knitted with one another. I mean, this team absolutely loves each other. It's absolutely insane. You can look at the screen right now. All the players, uh, that break a chuck uh, scream, of course, you know, the players hugging each other, the sellies, everything. The vibes around this team are absolutely insane. And you know what? If everything goes right, if the goaltending starts to click, if the forwards start to produce even more, it gets some depth throughout the lineup, you start getting healthy, and the defense can continue to play as well as they have been playing as of late. 
Who knows? Maybe Ottawa can go on a run. But the vibes are absolutely insane around this team right now. Uh, this locker room absolutely loves each other, and it's a great sight for us Ottawa Sander fans to see. Now, another great sight was seeing Artem Zub last night playing absolutely incredible against Connor McDavid, shutting him down. Um, Connor McDavid, you know, he, he had some good bursts last night. I will not lie. He had some great bursts against Ottawa. But when Artem Zub was on the ice to play against him, Zub was matched up against McDavid, and he did a fantastic job. He even outscored Connor McDavid. So, I mean, like, listen, Artem Zub, he's obviously the best defenseman in the National Hockey League, and this is another reason why, because he was able to shut down the best player in the National Hockey League, Connor McDavid. Besides that, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit of a different type of vibe, much more laid back, but also exciting. Back-to-back -back wins in Alberta is no easy feat, so it was great to see for the Ottawa Sanders. But besides that, a huge back-to-back -back wins for Ottawa. The next game is now against Buffalo on Tuesday. Uh, we, that's going to be interesting. You know, listen, a uh, friend of the show, Spencer Blake, put out a funny tweet. You know, Ottawa, of course, they went back-to-back -back games against some tough teams in Edmonton and Calgary. Now, of course, we're going to probably lose to an AHL squad in Buffalo. That's the Sens way. We shall see. So I'll see you all Tuesday when Ottawa takes on Buffalo in Ottawa at 7 o'clock Eastern time. Besides that, thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video. Share this social cool stuff. Of course, click the big red button down there. Make it great and subscribe to us. And most importantly of all, turn the notification bell on so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Besides that, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Go Sens go.